getting the most out of your data with an open and simplified approach to data-driven transformation. On behalf of Dynamic CIO, Google Cloud, Pink App, and Ivan, I welcome you all. I'm Ashwani Mishra, Executive Editor at Dynamic CIO, and I will be your host for this session. A quick announcement before we start with the proceedings. As the sessions proceed, I will request all our viewers to type in their questions in the Q&A box that's displayed on the screen. Our speakers will be responding to these questions at the end of the session. Thank you. Over the last couple of years, we have witnessed a huge uptake in digital transformation initiative across industries. During the same time, the volume of data that businesses are collecting, managing, and analyzing on a daily basis has also increased exponentially. Businesses are increasingly focused on extracting more insights at faster speed from the data sets. While there are numerous factors that can hamper tech advancements, one common reason that continues to cause a concern for enterprises is outdated database models. These outdated database models simply cannot keep up with the speed of business growth and the data surge that is associated with it. It would be correct if I say that enterprises who have legacy databases could be stunting their digital transformation roadmap and ultimately their growth. Traditional databases are costly to manage, they cannot process large-scale data transactions and are highly prone to single-point failures. It is time to move beyond the use of obsolete technologies to fully embrace digital transformation and create a robust data infrastructure platform. How can organizations achieve massive scale and resiliency of open source databases? How can they leverage out-of-the-box multi-cloud architecture to enable real-time interoperability between systems, applications, and databases that run across any public cloud environment. These are some points that we will look to cover in this webinar. We'll hear from our lineup of speakers on some of the current trends and the best practices around data management as current solutions fall short in addressing many of these challenges in a comprehensive way. With this, I now invite Moran Berry, ISV leads Southeast Asia at Google Cloud to share his views on how enterprises can get the most out of the data with an open and simplified approach to data-driven transformation. Maron has been with Google Cloud for almost six years. Over the years, he has covered media and entertainment companies across Europe, Middle East, and Africa, and the APAC region as a sales lead. In his current role, he advises ISVs on GTM, co-sell, and partner opportunities across the APAC region. Over to you, Moran. Thank you, Aswani. Thank you for your attendance today. I am both privileged and honored to be able to kick off this presentation today. As you heard, I lead the ISV partnership business in Singapore. What I would like to do now is spend just one minute to emphasize the importance that Google Cloud places on partnerships. Google Cloud has been a partner-focused business from day one. Fast forward to 2021, we faced unprecedented demand from businesses as they turned to the cloud to digitally transform their organizations. This surge in cloud adoption meant we increasingly turned to our own ecosystem to help customers procure packaged solutions from our third-party software partners, or ISVs, that are available through our Google Cloud Marketplace. To continue meeting growing customer demand in the years to come, we've made it easier for ISVs to bring their solutions to market to our joint end customers. This partner focus starts global and continues to go local. And I will explain what this means in the context of our partners presenting today. And on the next slide, you'll see what is the value for our customers when Google Cloud and ISV partner together? Google Cloud and ISVs partner together to create best-in-class, industry-leading solutions that solves business challenges for organizations globally. Google Cloud and ISVs together can help you innovate and transform, which means as customers of Google Cloud, you get access to the tools 
technology and support that you need to build and accelerate your business with Google Cloud and ISVs by your side. Google Cloud and ISVs can help organizations like yours to drive profitability and maximize return on investment in an ever-changing business landscape for our customers. And with that context, today we are going to hear from two ISVs, Ivan and Pinkap, about their innovative game-changing solutions that can help accelerate your business. And with that, let me, let me hand it back to Ashwani. Thank you, Maron, for keeping it very short and focused. Uh, we will now move to the next session, but before we do so, I will again request all our viewers to type in their questions in the Q&A box. For the next session, I invite Andrew Wren, Principal Solutions Architect at PinkApp. Andrew is an experienced data specialist, solutions architect, and cloud technical consultant. As a Principal Solutions Architect, architect at PinkApp, he engages with executives, directors, and developers to translate their business needs into technical and operational plans and build the next generation technology engine. Over to you, Andrew. Hey, thanks, Ashwani. Yeah. Hi, everyone. I'm Andrew from PinCap. Uh, in the next 20 minutes, I will focus on three questions related to TidyV Cloud. So it will be, what is TidyV? How does TidyV Cloud help your business? And how can you try out TidyV? And hopefully by the end of the session, you will have all the answers as the takeaway of today. So before we discuss what is TidyV, let me quickly introduce the company behind TidyV, PinCap. So PinCap is a technical unicorn startup. Guess why we name ourselves PinCap? Actually, there is a technical reason behind it. Uh, in computer world, uh, there's a popular theorem called CAP, right? It states that any distributed data store can only provide two of the following three guarantees. Either it's consistency, availability, or partition tolerance. And we think if we can pin these guarantees together in one data store solution, it will evolute the industry. And that's why we name ourselves PinCap. And thus, our easy to use distributed database solution, TIDB. TIDB is well trusted by companies from startups to enterprises. And it is adopted by more than 2,000 global innovation leaders already as their key database solution. Uh, due to the space limit here in the slide, um, um, I only listed a subset of the customers, but hopefully you can recognize some of the logos. TidyB is popular in the open source community. It is a cloud native open source database solution. And you can see in the picture on the left that TidyB is recognized by CNCF as a graduated cloud native database project, along with other popular projects such as Kubernetes. And in the right picture, you can see PinCap is ranking quite high and the top contributors list in CNCF, among other giants such as Google and Microsoft. So, why is TidyB popular and well-trusted by global adopters? I would say because data has become one of the most important factors of a business's success, right? Um, companies are facing challenges with data collection and online serving because the data volume has grown exponentially. Why the data volume has grown so much one of the factors is the user base growth of the applications, as well as the traffic surge you see during events. For example, if it is an e-commerce company, during the mega sales event, uh, they might see 10 times or more traffic than the UU traffic, and it can serve millions of customers in concurrent, right? And the other factor of the data growth is the data all the applications are collecting. For example, in order to understand the user behavior, nowadays, modern applications 
or track the clicks of the customers. The second challenge is how to turn the data at this volume, at this scale, into real business value. Often the big data volume ends up with many services and data silos in your company. But often a single view of the data is needed in order to get the value out of the data. So for example, in a video game, you might have different modules or microservices such as chat, trading, payment, account info, etc. But only by consolidating all the data in those microservices together, can you understand whether the player probably is willing to pay for a limited promotion now, right? And besides the single view requirement, often what we see is the faster the insights, the more, the, the more business value it can provide. Thinking about a logistic company, in order to optimize the delivery efficiency, real-time insights into the whole delivery system is a key. Usually, if you want to achieve both the collect and the serving of such a scale, scalable data set and provide real-time insights to the whole consolidated data sets, you end up with a very complex technology stack with high maintenance cost. And as a result, time to market become a challenge. If you do have existing solutions that are experiencing any of these challenges, we can help as a, uh, provide guidance and expertise advice. Uh, if you are interested, please click on the poll that is popping up on the screen. So looking back on the history of building a modern application on an overwhelming choices of databases, Online applications start with a single node, a DBMS, as the primary base. Either open source choices like MySQL or Postgres, or closed source like Oracle. And the common limitation is, as the data volume grows, the performance radically degrades when reaching the volume limit. And to tackle with the data boom from all perspectives worldwide, data lake or data warehouse products now become the new trend for big data analytics. But on the other hand, their processing latency limits them to offline applications rather than real-time data analytics most of the time. And in between the two lines above, the obvious blank area that any single product or application can provide is a primary database supporting both online transaction at scale or volume, meanwhile being capable to empower real-time insights from online transaction data as well as analysis of complex queries. So similar requirements exist in every industry in different formats. For example, in finance, you might need real-time insights of online transactions uh, or instant risk control. In gaming, you might need effective analysis of online operation rules. In e-commerce, you want to provide a customer real-time recommendations on uh, what they might like. In crypto exchange, a real-time reconciliation before user withdraw their fiat is important. Or uh, you can do cadence check on your crypto on-chain and off-chain to ensure the asset security. In logistic companies, real-time delivery route optimization is one of the key for the efficiency. So TidyB is one answer fitting in the blank area perfectly and giving credit to the distributed design and edge te technology I'll mention more in later slides. So without TidyB in the past decades, people put together many products in order to resolve the needs in blank area, such as data sharding, ETL, NoSQL solutions, Lambda architecture, etc. But complex solutions also bring huge challenges to the data consistency, compatibility across, and operational maintenance. And furthermore, multi-partial and multi-layer schema of data itself keeps the developers from time to market whenever there is a new requirement to be addressed. 
choosing one database for all online serving from transaction processing all the way to the real-time analytics is the answer to data agility from the very beginning and build a solid foundation to scale for growth. And with more detailed numbers shown here, it demonstrates that majority of databases provide latency beyond 10 milliseconds, which most finance applications require. And real-time analytics provides the capability of submitting response to hours to days as data volume grow. And in terms of data volume database, uh, the volume database can support beyond a single node database in the range of uh, 100 gigabytes up to several hundred terabytes are uh, the majority of the database that is needed by 99 percent of modern applications in the world and some developers may face the infrastructure bottleneck when business grows fast especially when planned or unplanned traffic spi traffic spike Distributed system design provides scalability and elasticity to smooth the data processing challenge across the growth period. And the underneath distribution mechanism of storage and a computation makes it transparent to developers who can focus on application innovation to fuel business growth directly. And some lines of business or teams may also face the talent resource challenge when competing the world uh, competing in the market with not only limited processing capability but also business insights extracted from the data collected internally and externally there are a lot of data analytics or data science tools engineers can easily leverage but the shortage the shortest time to market also to value is the single view of truth and the same database can be leveraged to provide complex query capabilities serving as the engine of insight without any delay from data synchronization so overall tidb armed with advanced distributed design and the leading edge tab which what is a hybrid transactional analytical processing technology it is the all-in-one online serving pro platform to boost business growth. Sustainable for a wide spectrum of application requirements with perfect time to value. Also, it enhances the data processing infrastructure with real-time insights and agile responses. So let's look at some of the typical design patterns of TidyB and how customers are using it. One of the simplest solution is use TidyB as the OLTP database for your ever-growing application with uh, massive data volume. In the traditional solutions, often when you have uh, a scale of a data store, you need to use read replicas to scale out read and use vertical or horizontal sharding solutions to scale out write or use NoSQL solutions for specific workloads that match the data structure as well as the data load uh, requirement. But with TidyB, you can actually have one single fully distributed next generation database. It can scale out to hundreds of terabytes of storage, billions of records in one table, millions of write or read requests per second during peak traffic and scale in to save cost during the off-peak periods. You can use it as if it is a single node database. And as a result, the application team, the developers can save a lot of operational overheads and focus more on the business innovation. In another typical design pattern we see customers is when they have a mixed workload in their applications. For example, in e-commerce, on one hand, the application needs to collect and serve the customers with all their transaction requirements. But on the other hand, the merchants might want to see a real-time analysis of their storage sale, of their store sale, of their um, campaign records, right? So all in a CRM application, 
you can see both data serving and analytic requirements in mixed. In a traditional solution, often the application and the inference team needs to maintain a complicated data replication system. And often the real time is a problem. But with TiDB, you can have the application team just use one database for both the OLTP and OLAP workloads and save the time to build both infra and to the applications, right? And finally, speed up the time to market. And final, the, the last design pattern we see is a data hub pattern where we consolidate data silos of the um, customers in real time to provide business value. And often in such a solution, there are three things that is key to it. One is for this data hub solution, you need to be large scale and it should be able to intake all the volume from upstream data sources in real time. And second, it needs to be able to serve high concurrency data servings for cases such as real-time recommendation, real-time risk controls. And those requests often are user by user, so ends up with very high concurrency. And finally, if you want to do some real-time reporting of all your data sets, uh, it should, the, the data hub itself should also provide the complex analytics capability. And that's all three points where TiDB can simply provide you with a one database solution. So let's now talk about some use cases which our customers have implemented on TiDB. It's adopted in all kinds of industry use cases, such as banking, gaming, blockchain, e-commerce, logistics, fintech, social media, entertainment, etc. So you can see here, Ninja Van as one of the biggest logistic companies in Southeast Asia, headquartered in Singapore. They run system applications which enable deliveries of over millions of parcels a day on TiDB. And they've expanded to other Asian countries like Indonesia and Malaysia, and the data is ever growing. And before TiDB, they were evaluating technologies like Vitus and CockroachDB, but this could not give a convincing performance for running transactions and analytic, analytical scenarios on one single system. And they actually provide some uh, surprising operational overheads as well. Square is a US number one FinTech app that allows sending, spending, saving, and investing money. And they have a bigger workload, which comprises a 30 million plus users with transactional data gone past 100 terabytes. And before using TiDB, the challenge was related to the data explosion. And they were using Vitus and were facing stability issues and huge maintenance costs for um, Vitus and AWS Aurora. Xiaomi is a hyper growth company with massive data volumes, and they adopted TiDB to address challenges related to performance and disaster recovery and real time analytics at a very lower, co lower cost. Before TiDB, they had all hits applications on MySQL, which were lagging behind the business expansion. Of all the prominent issues were storage bottlenecks, a lack of high availability guarantees, and data inconsistencies. In final example, ZTO, one of the largest logistic companies, provides express delivery and value-added logistic services. As their business quickly grew, TiDB was adopted to overcome challenges of analytics and scalability. Uh, before TiDB, they were using Oracle X data, but it didn't meet the requirements for their storage and data analytics and real time requirements. Uh, they also tried multiple other technologies uh, such as Apache Kudu and Edgebase, but again, those were not desirable, desirable for the real time data warehouse 
which they wanted to build. Now I think you have a very good understanding of what TidyB is and how it can help with your business. Let's quickly discuss how to start to use TidyB. TidyB Cloud is a fully managed TidyB service available on public cloud vendors marketplace. It offloads your operational overheads to maintain a complex distributed database system such as TidyB. And with some clicks, you can have your large scale database that fits both OLTP and OLAP workloads. So we can easily start to use TidyB Cloud through the GCP marketplace in just three steps. Just go to the GCP marketplace, type in TidyB in the search bar and click subscribe. Okay, now, um, should we go back to the beginning three questions, three questions we asked, what is TidyB? TidyB is a cloud native, open source distributed database that supports large scale OLTP and has real time analytics features embedded. And then how can TidyB Cloud help with your business? So business nowadays needs to deal with the ever growing data volume and find ways to turn the volume of data into business value. But at the same time, without sacrificing time to market. And TidyB Cloud can fit right in as a data agility solution. And finally, how can you try out TidyB now? You can see here uh, there's a barcode. If you scan it, you can get a up to 3000 TidyB Cloud credits and it will expire by 23rd of June. Uh, but we can, if you apply for it, we can to, uh, provide a POC support with you um, on your existing challenges with your data. With that, thank you very much, everyone. And let me hand it over back to Ashwani. Thank you, Andrew, for the insightful presentation and you know, uh, sharing your views on how TIDB fits in the enterprise IT landscape to uh, provide data agility and a single version of truth, which is very essential in today's time. Please do answer the poll questions that was poll question that was shared by Andrew. And also feel free to uh, share any questions that you have in the Q&A box. With this, we move to the next part of the session. And I would like to call upon Mark Thong and Emil Solistia from Ivan. Mark Thong is the Strategic Accounts Director, APAC at Ivan. He is the first Ivan hire in APAC region, focusing on strategic accounts and partners in the Southeast Asia region. Digital transformation and democracy through cloud technologies are topics that are close to his heart. Emil Solistia is the senior partner solution architect at Ivan. Emil is a senior uh, partner solution architect with an expertise in microservices and event driven architecture with passion for exploring new technology in the market to improve his skills while also helping customers optimize their IT landscape. Over to you, Mark. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for the opportunity to share Ivan with you today. Um, before I start the presentation, please do try scanning in the QR code for um, $500 credits to try out the Ivan services, which I'm sure you and your team will be happy to do so. So now let's get started. What is Ivan? Ivan is a fully managed open source database as a service specialist provider. Right, so what we are trying to do is to enable you to be able to create from a list of more than 10 different database tag on any regions in the GCP cloud on demand of any size that fulfills the strictest data and security requirements. So what we are offering you is the opportunity to jump into a world-class data infrastructure that's operated by the best technical talents globally on demand. Ivan has been going through our hyper growth 
over the last few years, and now we have more than a thousand customers globally. Out of these thousand customers, more than 400 are running on GCP, and GCP is our preferred partner for our services. But most importantly, it's the value that Ivan is providing to our customers when they adopt us to run the mission critical infrastructure. So you can see that they have much lower cost of operations. They have a much higher ROI numbers that they can realize on the investment, as well as a much shorter payback period on their investment with Ivan. And it's reassuring to you um, and very much um, hearing from our customers that they no longer have DBAs for some of these customers and they are relying on Ivan to deliver the database management services to them. These are some of our logos globally. Right? These are some of the customers that rely on us for their infrastructure needs to run their mission critical applications. Ivan is particularly strong in the FSI, e-commerce retail, gaming, warehouse and logistics, as well as the IoT space. Right, it's, it's, it's a uh, testament to our capabilities that these global companies are now using Ivan for their database infrastructure requirements. As you can see, we have a list of more than 10 database tag, open source database technologies that are available for subscription through the GCP marketplace. Um, Ivan supports Kubernetes and Terraform out of the box, which means that if you are using any of these IAC tools, you can now automate your desktop environment, support your scaling requirements, horizontal and vertical scaling, as well as to support you in your microservices. Now, so in summary, what I want is helping our customer to achieve is a much more effective and lower TCO, right? Being a true 100% open source proponent in the market, there are no proprietary features, proprietary capabilities that are in our product, which translate into our customer achieving their no vendor lock-in policy. And most importantly, through open source, our customers are now able to assess the latest technology in the market. And when our customer call us for help, we understand that they want help immediately. And the first call will always be picked up by a technical engineer in Ivan. With that, I will hand over to my colleague, Emil, who will be sharing more on the Anthos initiative together with GCP, as well as on Kafka, the event-based streaming data platform that are now used by some of our largest customers in the world to support their 500 million customers around the world. Over to you now, Emil. Yeah, thanks, Mark. Hi, uh, good morning, everyone. So today we'll be talking about how iPhone and Antos fit together and help you enable the IT operations to be more seamless and more consistent across the environment. And just as a, as a background, Antos is a multi-cloud capable Kubernetes cluster from GCP, and it support deployment across uh, three major public clouds and even on the on-premise hardware, so, such as on Biometal or VMware. And what Antos did is it provide a consistent compute environment for your applications. And this is where iPhone service can fit in because we are the partner for Antos on the data side. As you can see, uh, we will be having some polls coming regarding our Alpha and Beta product for deploying iPhone services on the on-premise environment, please do respond to the poll so we can get the interest from your sites. Okay, yes. just, as I, just as I mentioned just now, Antos is a multi-cloud Kubernetes cluster that provides a consistent compute environment. Currently, it can be deployed on multiple public cloud, GCP, AWS, and Azure. So what's missing from here is the how do you actually deploy your data platform in a consistent way across this environment. That's where iPhone comes in. 
Currently, our service can be deployed on all the three major public cloud that Antos support. And this way, wherever your application is running, you can always uh, provision the database services in the same consistent manner. So your developer and the ops team can expect the same capabilities and features. This will ensure smooth transition across multiple cloud environment that you have and simplify the, manage the management. And also you need to simplify your resource requirements as you don't need to hire people with multiple uh, multi-cloud experience. You just need to hire people that know Kubernetes and iPhone platform. And that way they can push it forward and speed up your more data transformation agility. And currently, we are doing an alpha and trial run for Antos and Biometal and Antos and Firmware and the GD, GDC apps. We are trying to do a product to deploy our services here. So customer on the on-premise environment can also get the same benefit as those that, is, that have deployed Antos on the public cloud environments. So at the end state, this is what we are trying to achieve. We, we want to be able to deploy out of our 10 services wherever Antos can be deployed at. So no matter what your environment of choice, you always have the same consistency for both compute and data platform. Uh, the next thing that I'm, I'm, I want to talk about is our Apache Kafka services. So as just now, we, we saw a way to deploy your application and data across multiple cloud. And but what happens if you need to move this data across those multiple cloud environment? That's where one of the features, one of the area where Kafka can fit in. Kafka can be easily be used as a data glue that can trans transfer the data back and forth between all your environments. And basically Kafka is a is an event blocker. It is it is mostly used for the real-time data streaming between systems and by using kafka you can easily move huge amount of data quickly between your environments and when you actually go to iphone to get a kafka we we provide the entire ecosystem for you it's not just the kafka broker by itself we we have the kafka connect which is the essential requirement to make it easy to move data from your source to your target environment. For example, you, if you have a if you have a concrete environment in AWS and the big data processing in Google, you can easily use Ivan Kafka to move the data from AWS to BigQuery with just a few simple configurations. And to enable that uh, integration smoothly, we have the schema registry, which is Carapace. Carapace is an open source product that is being maintained by iPhone and even our competitor is improved, is improved on it. So there is no vendor lock-in when you use our schema registry. And it is a one-to-one -one API compatible replacement for confluent schema registry. Schema registry will ensure that you can actually read the data in a consistent manner. And on top of that, we also provide Apache Fling, which is the in-stream processing. This is this is really useful if you have a requirement to perform real-time analytics and some ETL needs. And this Apache Fling environment will be managed by iPhone, so you don't need to worry about the availability and the availability of the, of the platform. Uh, another cool tool that we have for Apache Kafka is the Mirror Maker tool. Again, this is a managed version of Mirror Maker tool. With Mirror Maker, you can easily set up a DR for your Kafka environment across multiple cloud regions or even spanning multiple clouds. And with Mirror Maker 2, you can actually set up an active active Kafka cluster, as in both the primary and the DR cluster can be used to process your transactions. And on top of that, we also make it simple for customer to monitor the entire iPhone services. In this case, we are talking about Kafka, so we have the integration with the logging system like the GCP operation suite, or even with iPhone own. Uh, also, we have tools, which is built on top of OpenSearch and Grafana. So you can actually monitor the logs and what's happening in, this, in your system easily to this uh, also probability tools like and, met, and, and metrics. So you can actually know what, what's happening inside your cluster and get an alert in case of there's a spike in usage or 
there's some error happening in the system. And this integration can be done with a few clicks and in, in our iPhone console or to our REST API core. So in short, what we do here, what, what value that we provide is actually we make it easy for customer to create a Kafka services and ensure that the service is running reliably and we make it easy to consume and integrate the Kafka with all the other ecosystem of data that you have. This is, uh, this is the three most common use cases of Kafka that we we see our customer been doing in our platform. One of the most common one is to use Kafka as a backbone of your event to event architecture. Kafka is a, a Kafka is an event blocker that's scale that's scalable horizontally, and this fits well with the microservice model where you actually want your service to be able to scale horizontally. So in case of the traffic load, you can always add more nodes to your Kafka blocker or add more topic partitions. And on the application side, what you need to do, you just need to start more instead of your microservices, which is will be the consumer and the producer in Kafka world. And the system will scale according to the load. And what when you are using iPhone for Kafka, you can actually easily scale up or scale down your Kafka blocker with, with a REST API call or to some Terraform script, and that can be automated. So you can have a Kafka cluster that's reactive to based on your current load in the system. And another use case that we commonly use, uh, we see our customer did in our platform is to use Kafka as the data ingestion platform for their IoT devices. So the way this works is the IoT sensor will connect to the IoT gateway, and this IoT gateway will transmit the real time data that is that the, the, the sensor is taken. For example, the the current vehicle speed, the temperatures, and based on this data, our customer can gain some real time insight. For uh, one of the example is a logistic company in Indonesia. They actually use this real time insight to optimize their delivery route, and they they are managed to meet the commitment of ten minutes to deliver one items. And yeah, once your data get into Kafka, you can actually easily pipe this data into BigQuery for analytics. And this can be using the data flow streaming job that ena enable real -time, new, new real time dashboard with BigQuery and Google. And of course, you can actually pipe this data to multiple uh, data warehousing solutions if needed. So, with Kafka, it, it is easy to create a scalable backbone for your microservice architecture. And it's also very easy to create a real time dashboard that red company or customer react faster to what's happening on the ground. So this will bring tremendous value to the customer as it make it easier for them to scale and find out what's happening in near real time. Of course, there's other uh, use case for Kafka. For example, you can use it for activity tracking, analytics of your website, find out where the user is clicking. And because, because of the near real time of feature of this uh, event streaming, this technology, you can easily optimize your, web, your website and find out where where is the hotspot for the clicks and what doesn't work on your current website design. You can easily tweak it and continue monitoring from there. So now, yeah, Kafka is an open source solution. So why you should go to the iPhone for Kafka? This is our uh, main advantages compared to other solution provider. Firstly. We provide 49 SLA availability with 100% human support. 49 SLA meaning you can only have maximum four minute downtime per month, and that's including our maintenance window. And the moment you actually submit a ticket, this will be answered by a human instead of some uh, robot or chatbots that doesn't even know the context of what's happening on the ground. And another thing that we do actually, we provide automated update and our upgrades with zero downtime. So our backend will handle the update and upgrade using uh, blue and green deployment model. So there will be no impact to your application when we do the maintenance. It will be fully transparent from you. So even though the maintenance is ongoing, your application will still be up and running. And the next point is our platform let you scale up or scale down the 
Apache Kafka usage depending on your load anytime. So, and you are actually pay per use. So, so you can actually perform some cost saving when there is no load on your system by scaling down and, and scaling up. And this is also happening without any downtime to your applications. The final point is the super transparent price pricing. So when you go to iPhone website and see our pricing price list, it's all inclusive of the storage, backup, management, and even the egress network cost. So you can easily set up a data pipeline across regions or across multiple cloud provider without worrying about the egress traffic cost. So this opens up the opportunity where, for example, if you have a compute running in AWS and you have data analytics in GCP, you can easily pipeline this data to Kafka, iPhone Kafka, and you don't need to worry about your egress cost. Yeah, so this is what I was talking about just now regarding the transparent pricing. So this is, and you see this pricing, all of this is inclusive inside. There's no extra or hidden charges when you go with iPhone. Uh, another thing that we are talking about just now is the Mirror Maker 2. So we provide a managed Mirror Maker 2 that let you create a DR environment across multiple cloud provider across, or across the region. So this is very helpful when you are doing a DR requirement to, to meet some compliance, or you have a requirement of the data to be as close as possible to your customer. And for the data residency or sovereignty requirement that customer might have. And this Mirror Maker can also be used to migrate your current existing on-premise Kafka cluster to Ivan easily without any downtime. And another reason to choose us because we did a survey recently with this website, g2.com, and we get a good feedback for our iPhone support. As you can see, we get 8.6 rating uh, across 38 responder, while our computers only get like 10 response. How we achieve that? We actually have a very flat single level of support. So the moment your ticket arrives, it will be addressed by an actual engineer instead of some L1 support that just perform the wrong thing. So this way you can get the faster turnaround time for your issues. And this support engineer are the expert on their field. They have access to our platform code or and they they are also part of our development team that do contribution to the open source project that we are involved in. So they can easily debug and troubleshoot the issues. And on top of that they also have access to the our R D team for for fixed validations and in case they, they need to escalate some issues. So this will translate into a good experience of customer in the platform. So whenever they have an issues, we, we can react Im immediately and assess that and provide a solution to their concerns. Thank you, uh, that's all. Any questions? Uh, uh, sorry, return back to you, Aswani. Sure, sure. Thank you, Emil. Thank you, Mark. I guess you know you you very nicely uh, shared how Ivan is empowering uh, enterprises with the fully managed open source cloud data platform, and the insights around Ivan for Apache Kafka was really insightful. A quick reminder to our viewers, uh, just in case if you have not managed to answer the uh, poll question that was shared by Ivan, please do that. Uh, we will now uh, move to the Q and A session, the last session of the day. Uh, Again, a quick reminder, if you have any questions, please feel free to type them on the screen. Uh, I can see some questions here. And uh, uh, the first question, Andrew, is coming your way. How can PingCap help in getting the most out of data with an open and simplified approach to data-driven transformation? Andrew. Hey, sorry, uh, what was the question again? I'll repeat that again. Yes. How is PingCap helping in getting the most out of data with an open and simplified approach to data driven transformation? Mm. Yeah, so uh, PingCap is actually helping with the uh, real time data collection uh, by providing just one database. Um, so it can handle both OLTP and OLAP, right? So at one hand, it can serve the really large scale data volumes from the uh, application side, or it can, can consolidate all the data sources from all the upstream databases. 
right? And once all the data comes into the database, it has an internal replication process to generate both row-based store and column-based store. And once they have the, we have the column-based store, uh, it can provide analytics to the uh, customer as well. And because it is within one system, it provides a real-time replication just in place rather than you have to build in your batch processing system plus the uh, uh, online uh, re incremental replication or real-time replication pipeline, and then consolidate both the data uh, source into the analysis results, right? So instead of doing those uh, complicated solutions, you can just use one database solution to have the real-time data ingestion, real-time data serving, as well as the uh, real-time data analysis. Right, right, right. Thank you, Andrew. Uh, Mark, the second question is for you. Uh, what makes Ivan different from other database as a service providers in the market? Right. Um, well, very good question there. Um, so when you are looking at open source database and what we are bringing to the market, we are one of the unique um, true open source proponents in the market by ensuring that um, regardless of the subscription fee, subscription tiers that you're coming to Ivan, right? For $500 or 500,000 with some of our bigger customers, you get the same access to the world-class data infrastructure and the best technical support that you can get, right? And when it comes to open source, what it means is that we do not add in any proprietary code so that as a customer, you are now reassured that we continue this practice of ensuring that you have access, you are not locked in to any particular solution. You are able to move your database tag ahead without any limitation. So if you want to summarize that, we are really bringing uh, access, democratic access to the latest database tag to our customers, regardless of your size, giving you the peace of mind when you're running a business. Right, right. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Uh, I guess in the interest of time, we will have to wind up our conversation here. Thank you all for addressing our questions. It has indeed been an insightful session listening to all of you in this webinar. Thank you, Maron, Andrew, Mark and Emil for your time and valuable insights. It has been a real pleasure to host all of you today and we look forward to some engaging conversations in the future. Most importantly, thank you to all our viewers for taking out time and tuning into this session. Thank you.